hear him over here. He's over in the storage area. Yeah. <laughs> you found him? Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> okay, we did a good job there. We got we got the nether wart, yep, and we got some blaze rods, and we didn't die, and yep. we didn't die, and now we'll be able to we'll be able to brew up potions to help us. So when we come back, we'll be much in much better shape. And what else? Why would we want to come back? Um, because there's good stuff in the in the nether here. I've lost you. There you are. I followed the torches. Oh, oh. Where'd he go? Okay, I just walked past you. Oh, and there's a bouncing. Yeah. These guys are magma cubes. We want to kill them. Can I shoot him? You're in between me and him. They drop. They're like the they're like the slime balls in that they break up into smaller into smaller. Ooh, fun. Yeah, they're a little bit of work, but they drop these magma cream, which we need. I like how they're slinkies. Yeah. They changed their sounds in one point nine, and so they're even more slinky like. How so? How many magma cream did you get? Uh, five. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's go. That was good. That was super fortuitous. Can we kill a pig man on our way out? No. <laughs> well, okay. Let me get out and then you can. But no, give me the magma cream and no, blaze rods okay. first. And the and we'll the, save that for another trip when our yeah. pockets are empty. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll kill pig men at some point. It's okay. But we just you just have to be ready. Uh-oh, I lost you. I climbed up the ladder. Oh, up. Uh. Where are you, buddy? I hear him over here. He's over in the storage area. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you found him? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What on earth? <laughs> you must have teleported to you in front of the chest, and then you, when you right clicked to open the chest, you made him sit in the chest. When I put away the stained glass? Yeah, probably. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. okay he's so how he's do I fine. Get him out without hurting him. Um, no, just right click on him. Should oh. be fine. Okay. Oh, buddy. There's not a dog in the inventory here. <laughs> no, there is not. Okay, so how do I let him out? It should. I've got the chest open, but I don't know where he is. No, you have to close the chest. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm going to say right now? Don't worry about it. He's fine. Oh, well, that was heartbreaking to see his little head. <laughs> He's disguised as a chest. We'll figure it out. Let's, because I don't want I don't want this to run too long. I want to. Right. So, did you grab any stone? Yeah. Okay. Because no, I was looking for my dog. <laughs> okay, grab some stone. Where is it? It's in the stone chest. Well, I know which stone <laughs> really. Which chest is the stone chest? It's this. Uh, I'll grab it. Is it by my dog? No, not especially. This one? Oh, I've you know I've got some in my pocket. Okay, come over to the crafting table. Can I let my dog go? Let's let's take care of this first. I want to. I want you to walk through the basics. Oh, grab some glass. I have well, good. Then I can let my dog go. Okay, cobblestone in the crafting table. Three cobblestone. Not, not stone. Three cobblestone across the bottom. 
and then a blaze rod in the middle. Whoa, brewing stand. Brewing stand, yay. Now, take three pieces, three pieces of glass and make a little V shape. So the sides and the bottom. Okay. Glass bottle? Yep. Three, yeah. gla three glass bottles. Okay, so we need a couple things, but if you come outside, we can fill up the glass bottles in the little pond. Then we leave the poor dog suffering. Yeah, the dog is fine. The, the glass chest. The dog is fine. I'm going to report you. We'll, we'll sort out the dog later. Nobody needs to see that. But you're That's learning... I, I don't... You're, I think everybody needs to see that. <laughs> okay, so if you point at the water with the glass bottle in your hand and right click, it'll fill up. With all three? Yeah, and it'll basically it'll fill up and, and go into your inventory. Now, if you did this with lava, what would happen? I don't believe it works. It's a Travis question, isn't it? Yeah. Although that wouldn't be a bad... So you should end up with three water bottles in your inventory. They yes, do not. Yes, I have three water bottles. Cool. Let's go back inside. Water bottles don't stack. Okay. It's one uh, downside. So. Doggy. So, we need to come up with a little brewing area, but for the time being, I'm just going to put brewing stand down on the floor here. You can put yours over here, in front of the, the enchanting area. So just drop the brewing stand? Yeah. Place it on the ground. <laughs> like what I've done here. Oh, wait, I have to put it in my hand, huh? Yes. If I can ever pick it up. Okay, and I threw a piece of soul sand at you. Okay. And you can put it down next to the brewing stand. Which side? Uh, next to the wall, so to the left of it. Okay. And that nether wart that you got? Mm hmm You can plant the nether wart in the soul sand. So we can grow more nether wart. Which is very important. Oh, cute. Yeah. And they can make a decoration too. So anyway, it grows up. You'll you'll see. You'll you'll get a sense of what it looks like as when it's mature. It's like the farming outside. When it's mature, you break it. You get like three or so nether wart out of it, and you can replant. Okay. So brewing stands have a weird hit box. You have to be looking at the bottom of it in order for it to open up the interface. But go ahead and look at the bottom, and then right click on it. Do I have to have nothing in my hand? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so now it's got, there's four slots in the brewing stand. The three on the bottom are where the bottles go. So put your three water bottles there. Okay. And yeah. then you want to take one piece of nether wart and put it in the top. Okay, Bowser. Okay. Bubbles are going. Yeah. So <laughs> now you're brewing a potion. Hey. So we are doing this. One of the reasons I wanted to do this today. Um, today is Saturday the 27th. Mo Mojang has announced basically that it's going to release 1.9 on Monday. <laughs> Okay. 
Sorry about that. Um, the brewing, lots of things changed in 1.9, including the brewing. Uh, so I wanted to get sort of the brewing out of the way now. So you got a sense of, you know, we got the, the nether wart and, and got the brewing. So once it's done bubbling, you should end up with three awkward potions. Awkward potion, no effect. Okay, just so you get, uh, and then the next thing, you have some of those magma creams, right? Yep. Put one magma cream up top. Okay. So how's this brewing stuff going to change? Um, you need blaze powder to power the brewing stand in 1.9. Which that's that's the biggest change, and it'll just happen. But I just wanted to get out of the way. And we have blaze rods, but we need a regular source source of them. Ooh, now they're pink. Yeah, and what does it say? Potion of fire resistance. Yeah, and then after that, it has a number, right? Three o'clock. Three minutes. Ah. So. So if you were, if you were, don't do this, but if you were to take one of those and drink it for three minutes, you would be impervious. Okay. Um, you would be impervious to fire. Awesome. So for three minutes, you could actually swim in lava. Whoa. Yeah. That makes a bit of a difference. So that's good for the nether. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So put the potion back in the brewing stand. Why? Because we're going to make it better. Oh. So they're all, but you got the three back in. Yep. So once you brew up potions, you usually start with a nether wart to make an awkward potion. And then you brew up some ingredient to make the potion you're trying to make. Mm -hmm. And then there's modifiers. One of those modifiers is redstone. I threw some redstone dust at you. Okay. So if you put a piece of redstone in the top, it'll brew up something else. Are you doing this too? Yes. white arrow is filling yep and my dog is still stuck in a chest <laughs> full of stained glass if we wanted to do a minecraft version of those uh poor abused dogs <laughs> <laughs> i think that would be funny with sarah mclaughlin singing we've got the visual there okay so now it's done brewing it's still pink potion of fire resistance eight minutes eight minutes so t generally speaking, redstone extends the effect of a potion. Okay. Glowstone, for some potions, make it stronger. So another potion we can make are strength potions. And if you have a good enough sword and you drink a strength potion, you can actually hit and kill the pigmen in one hit, and then they don't get angry. <laughs> nice. So, but those, uh, you can take your potions out of the stand now because you're done. Uh, another modifier that you can do is uh, fermented spider eyes, okay. which you make with uh, mushrooms and spider eyes. Well, we have plenty of spider eyes. Yes, we do. And that like inverse, inverts, the, uh, inverts the effect of the potion. So if you make a night vision potion, which allows you to see in the dark, mm. if you invert it, it becomes an invisibility potion. Mm. And then the, the bad guys don't see you. Um, let my dog out now. Okay. Uh, I created a, a chest up here, top up here with a piece of quartz on it that for the time being can hold all the sort of nether related things. Okay. So we'll put our potions in there? Um, you can put potions. Can we put a potion bottle on the outside? Um, we'll, I'll set up something a little bit more, um, a little bit more permanent. I'll, I'll, I'll work on setting up a potion brewing area and where Wait, we can... So which one of these? The top one? The top one, yeah. Wait, the top front one? That you just closed? Yes. What am I putting in here? Ah. Everything that I can shift click? Yeah. What do I do with this golden sword? That goes somewhere else. Um, so the potions stay in my pocket. We'll 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 come up with better potion storage. Uh, for now, yeah, you can hang on to it. 
And so next time you go in the potion, you should always be carrying one or more fire protection potions on you. Because that way, then, if you accidentally fall in lava, you can just drink it, and then you'll be fine. Okay, so where do I put horse armor? Um, in the lily pad <laughs> chest. Okay. I know that doesn't make sense, but... And you can put the golden sword in there, too. I need to organize this a bit better as well. So there you go. You had a very successful first trip, not a second trip, into the nether. Yeah, I didn't die. Yeah. And so we, my dog is stuck in Yeah, so what you should try doing Wait, where is... Where should the potions go? Just hang on to it. Okay. Um, I'll work up potion. Okay. Bowser, let's get you out of this so chest. So what you should try doing... Uh-oh, I don't even see him anymore. He's he's still there. Try What you should try doing is... is Come over here so he's oh, there's this little sound. so he's looking at you and see if you can right click on part of him. Like come over to the side where you're not your cursor's not pointing at the chest, but you're pointing at him and his little name is, is appearing. And see if you can right click on him. Like stand off to the side and see if you can right click his snout without right clicking on the chest. And see if you can get him to stand up. You're in my way. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rescue the dog, um, but I think that's the end of the episode. Wait. Thank you for watching. You should allow him to be freed in the end of the episode, or people will worry. This may, I don't know how this is gonna work. We may have to destroy the chest. No. <laughs> Which could be inconvenient. Okay, now can you get out? I don't know. Walk away and see if he walks. How about? You open the chest, and then I click on him. But we can both open the chest at the same time, so that won't that won't help. You need to come off here, like like where I'm standing right now. He, I can put my crosshairs on him without highlighting the chest. Where are you? I'm standing right in front of you. My crosshairs on him. But is it on the chest as well? No. Then right click. I did. Okay. Okay. This is going to take some work, so we'll take care of it and oh. <laughs> what did he get in here isn't getting the dog out of the chest more interesting uh no because this could take forever and we've already been recording for almost an hour ah, i got him yay See it? no yay oh yeah he's standing there Cooper, okay good me? so you can walk over here okay, make him don't sit report somewhere us to else the minecraft aspca he's fine okay yeah, we don't need to uh, raise the ire of Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah. Okay, come on. All right. All right, okay. guys, let's get out of here. Well, there you go. That's the end of our episode. Thank Phew. you for watching. Uh-oh, where is he? He's sitting. I told him not to. Come He's here. sitting next to the chest. It's totally fine. Come here. So, <laughs> come on. Good boy. Let's go. Let's go. Get away from that chest before it gets you. <laughs> they're Again. not. They're not killer chests. It's fine. Okay. Phew. Okay, everyone. Thank Where you for watching. He? He's right behind you. Oh, there he is. Good boy. Here, you deserve some steak. <laughs> okay. We didn't die. The dog didn't die. That was good. Yep. All right. That's that's all for our episode today. Bye. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time on Chihuahua Land. Yay. Bye.